one hand on your tummy, one hand on your chest. Same as last week, we'll go in 100% pelvic floor and the TVA. Tuck the pelvis under, be nice and tall. Hold for five seconds and then a slow release. So let's go in, five, four, three, two, one, and then that slow release. And then again, pelvic floor and that TVA in. Five, four, three, two, and one, and that slow release. Now just check on this one, you're not holding your breath. Pulling in, five, four, and three, two, and then one, and slow release it down to 50%. Now you do know this one, we've done it before, scrunch up your fists, it's breathing in, lift your arms at level with your shoulders, breathing in to open, breathing in to lift over the head, breathing out, release the fingers and bring the arms down. So three short, sharp inhales and then a nice sweeping exhale. Just go at your own pace. If you can, breathe in through the nose. Think about energizing, trying to get like a kind of a nice little shift here in the body, letting go of anything that's not serving you. Getting some fresh oxygen to the cells, to the brain. It's actually quite nice doing it outside for a change. <laughs> as fast as you like, your work, it's your practice, you decide on your pace with this. Adding in when you're ready then, we'll go up, in, 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 and then release, bend the knees, and then just keep working through. Whoa, I should go face on so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sweeping down, take the chest towards the thighs. Bending the knees. When you bend the knees, just try and think about keeping them in line. Try not to let them pronate inwards. And th think also about the arches underneath the feet there. Try not to let the arches drop. Let's go four more. Two more, a little bit deeper into the release. Woo. Okay, arm circles in both arms, lifting them up, breathing in, breathing out, coming down. We'll go four of these. Think about pressing the feet down into the mat as you do this. So we're thinking about growing nice and tall in the spine, length at the back of the neck. Then you go up with the arms, interlink the fingers, and you go a side bend one way, center a side bend to the other. Then to the center, and then go for your forearm circles. Now you can do these as fast as you like. So again, you can work quick or you can work slow. Totally up to you, and then you go up, and you go into your side bends again. So it's just a nice little combination. Drawing in the core, perfect for in TVA. When you get your side bends in, think about the length at the back of the neck when you do your arm circles. Press down into the feet. If you want to add in, you can go up onto the toes when you do your arm circles. Start to warm up through the ankles. Then just bring the heels down, ready to go into your side bends, maybe going the other way first. Drawing in the core. You can soften the knees a little bit as well. Last time. And you can add in up onto the ankle, uh, up onto the toes. If you can, try not to look down, so looking forwards. Again. Last time, side bends. Press down into the feet, center, and side bends. So using your mat now, cross the feet. I'll just go down slightly so you can see the mat. You're going to walk along the mat. So reach the arms up just like you've done to link the fingers. 
then cross the feet, soften the knees and just do a little sweep down. And then you can just walk a step, cross the feet, reach up nice and tall, bend the knees and sweep. So it's like a walking IT band stretch. So you are reaching up each time, bending the knees down into this sweep. A little bit of balance work as you do your, your little walk and then cross the leg. So if you're feeling like you want a deeper stretch on hamstrings IT band, you think about straightening the back leg a little bit more as you do your stretch. Looking forwards as you reaching up into your full body stretch. Press the last one, pressing the legs. Getting nice and tall and sweeping down. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so, um, if you've got weights, you might want to put your weights in now. We're going to go to um, some squats. Again, I'm going to put a bit of movement in. I'm going to sidestep. So, maybe come to the side of your mat, bend knees, front raise, a little bit of a sidestep into your squats. Check that if you're putting the side step movement in that you're, you're sticking like hip work, controlling what's happening with the knees, try not to let the knees pinate in, think about the arches underneath the feet, try not to let them drop, think about sending the hips back into space, freezing glutes as you lift, Go okay, one more time along the mat, maybe experimenting a little bit deeper into these squats. Shoulders are relaxed. Last time back to our starting place. Whew. I might teach outside every every week now. That's pretty nice. I'm enjoying my, I think I get a bit hot in the lounge. <laughs> Shoulders down and back then, scapula set. Think about being nice and tall here in the spine. Lens at the back of the neck, try not to look down. So look forwards. Oh, this feels really good because I've done a lot of driving recently. <laughs> so. Think about where the elbows are sat. So are they sat forward? So think about them being at the side of the body. Shoulders down and back. Notice what's happening with the pelvis. So have you got the pelvis tucked under? Are you engaging with the pelvic floor? So if you can breathe out into the extension part as the weights go to the sides. Stay strong in the wrists. Three more. Then just allow the shoulders to relax and take an easy twist. And you can do that with the weights as well, just gentle. And pull in the pelvic floor. Just let the weights kind of hang to the sides. You can look around as well if you feel like it's to kind of like feels good for the neck. You can have a little look back. Soften the knees. So my favorite move then, let's go to the sumo squat with the circle. So take the legs uh, super wide, bend the knees, get comfortable, especially if you are uh, got any tightness in the hips. Then bring the weights forwards, drawing a massive circle around with your weights. I'm gonna go for one way for the other, but if you wanna alternate, go one way and then the other, just go for that. Again, if you wanna drop down, go a little bit lower, you can experiment there. Try and keep the eye gaze forwards, length of the back of the neck. Think about the head, so try not to let the head circle, so keep the head really still. Like, so if you were swimming, you'd be focusing on the head being nice and still until you breathe. Same as running, unless you're Paula Radcliffe with your head bobbing up and down. <laughs> Wonder if she'll ever watch that one, this one on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, 
So, your single leg exercise. So, I've conveniently got a step in front of me, so I'm going to do steps today. So, you could do 10 on each leg, maybe with the steps you can probably get more in, maybe two sets. You've got your lunges, your deadlifts, or I mean, your single leg deadlifts, or you've got your chair exercise, or dips on a step, which is my choice today. So, hopefully, you can see this if I turn around. Can you see a step there? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, so if you can, 10 on each side. If you're on a step, you might get two lots of 10. In any of those four exercises, you'll be thinking about the knee. So controlling the knee being parallel. Thinking about the arch underneath the foot. Whoa, wobbling. <laughs> Try and find a good point to focus on. And also think about, I mean, we've been doing this recently last few weeks, it's like the quickest way through the move, so the quickest way down, the quickest way up, but without compromising on alignment. Ultimately, thinking about glutes. Big toe is quite a good anchor, pelvic floor for the balance. I'll keep an eye on what you guys are doing to see when anyone's coming back in. Do try and think about the core engagement as you're doing these. Also, if you're holding the breath. Cool, I've got Joe back in. And there we go, okay. So so next exercise is going to be balance so if you put the put weight onto one foot so if you can maybe i'm going to go hands at heart center but weight onto one foot perhaps try and close your eyes count to five use the big toe use your glutes use your pelvic floor Then open your eyes and it's 10 heel lifts. And these ones you can think about the quickest route. So press down the ball of the foot into the ground, squeeze the glutes, pelvic floor engaged. And if you feel like you've got this quite a nice connection with the ground, you could work quite quickly. So, up, I mean, it depends how you feel whether you've got that. You feel like you can work on that pace. And then we'll swap legs, hands at heart centre, take the balance exercise, five seconds, close your eyes. Then when you're ready, go into your heel lefts. Working with the pelvic floor, the glutes, shoulders relaxed. Then just a little bit of a shake out. Hopefully someone's looking out their window at me. <laughs> just for fun. Okay, let's go down into the mat, do a downward dog. Stretch out the calf muscles. Can you see okay there? You can see me okay. The sun's sort of changed position slightly and I do, it does look quite bright. Send the hips up towards the sky. <laughs> Perhaps walking through your downward dogs. If you're particularly tight there on the backs of the shoulders, maybe a plank and then send the hips up. Maybe bend the knees. If you're just tight on the calf muscles and hamstrings, pedaling through or walking across. So go back to that kind of uh, crossing the legs and walking through. Sometimes that helps to get a little bit more of a release. Kind of on all the different parts of the hamstrings, calf muscles. Spread fingers, spiral biceps towards each other. Try and get the arms wrapped around the ears. Take a moment then to come and bring it down into dolphin. Dolphin's quite intense. Come down onto the elbows, lift the hips up. Think about that stretch on the backs of the shoulders in dolphin. Just see if you can take three deep breaths. 
through the nose, out of the mouth. Then from there we're going to go to our plank. So you can either come straight into plank or if you need a break, hip down and then left. So option one, knees down, hips lifted. Really think about TVA particularly, a little bit of pelvic floor, but mainly TVA. Tuck the pelvis under. Option two, straighten the legs. We'll go for about a minute. You are going to have to put up with my counting though. <laughs> I might, yeah, I will count that loud. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And because I'm at university, I'm going to count properly all the way to 16. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, halfway. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, take a breath, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, take a rest. <laughs> I thought that was going to be harder than it was actually then. I managed to remember how to count to 60. <laughs> okay. Low plank to high plank, and see if you can do eight of these. So hips lifted, option with the knees down, or you can take the straight leg version. So that's one, up onto high plank, and then it'd be two. Shoulders down and back. Think about pulling in the core. If you've done four, pushing with one hand first, just switch it over. Try not to hold breath with this as well, so keep breathing. Last one. And releasing that down, we'll, come, we'll do a releasing cat stretch, so on all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Really spread the fingers, just to get that stretch in the, kind of around the, the, uh, around the wrist there. Then chin into chest, space between the shoulder blades. Send the breath between the shoulder blades. Now, if you've been on a computer a lot or anything like that, and you want the, the wrist stretch, just take one hand, put the equal weight through both hands. Just take a little wrist stretch, and then the other side. Then, release. So, let's go to uh, Got donkey kick, dog pee, extension, and a corner. So this is quite intense version of Superman. So check you're in neutral, check the pelvis under, check that your shoulders are down and back. So bending the knee, that's your donkey kick lift. Then your dog pee. So you just open the hip slightly, kind of turning the knee towards the side. Then that circles down and around and then pushes out. Then explore the corners and then center and release. And then go to the other side. So donkey kick, then open in the hip, dog pee on the lamp post, circle it all the way around, straighten out, then see if you can just go to the corners. I've just seen some bird poo on my mat. <laughs> I didn't account for that. <laughs> donkey kick, dog pee on the lamp post, circling round to the center, extend, and then a little bit of exploration to the side. Release. Now if you want to add in, we'll add, we'll add in on this next one. After this side. You can really take your time on these. So I mean it's a lot to remember as well. So if you want to add in, we did this last week, salute. Opposite, um, opposite elbow to the side. Then you've got to really work on balance as well. You keep working through some kick, dog pee, circling it to the middle, extension. You can really work with pointed toes and then out to the corners.
focusing, pulling in the core, keeping that pelvis tucked under. Last time on each side, last one. Hopefully you can feel the work going into the glute, right? And then the stretch as you take it out to the corners there. Woo! Okay, let's release low lunge. Just step forwards, perhaps go to the same side. Allow the hips to sink down, drawing in the core a little bit. Then we'll just play here with a, um, a side stretch and maybe you can reach the floor or I don't know if you had a block or you had a book or anything, you could play with that there. So the same arm with the leg that's forwards, you just reach the fingertips down towards the floor to put in a bit of a side bend. Eye gaze forwards or you could even take eye gaze up and spiral. Chest to ceiling. And then we'll swap sides. Check your hip width. Hips sink down, find that nice juicy hip flexor stretch. Then when you're ready, and also just check your hips are squared to the front of your mat. You're not kind of tilting, wiggling in those hips. And then you can just reach down, put in a little bit of a side body stretch. Eye gaze can go up, chin can lift. Okay, so from there, let's go down onto the mat on our front. We better just move this bird too, slightly. Okay, maybe a sphinx, or if you prefer, we'll go for a couple of cobras. So press kind of pubic bone, press hips down into the mat. Then just lengthen the toes to the back of the mat. Shoulders down away from ears. You could gently lift up if you feel you can do a cobra. Otherwise you might want to stay in sphinx. Then bring it down. Lifting up. Draw in the core as you're doing this. So find a bit of pelvic floor. And you should get an abdominal stretch if you're up in cobra. Keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Crown ahead just starts to rise up towards the sky. Just one more of these. So release, put your head on your hands. We'll do the glute activation. So squeeze the glute, get the hamstring to engage. And then you'll find the other side on the lower back stabilizes the hips. So just gently lifting up one leg and lowering. Perhaps put your forehead, so you actually put a little bit of pressure here onto your third eye, your forehead, onto your hands. And in that position with the head, you can think about the length at the back of the neck, so obviously the head's slightly lifted. So you can keep the spine nice and long in this. Thinking about that chain, glutes, hamstrings, lower back on the other sides. And you might think about the breath, breathing out there, breathing it lower. You might want to point toes and think about the soles of the feet kind of lifting up towards the ceiling. Four more now. From there then we'll go swan dive so cactus the arms to the side breathing out lift head and shoulders think about the length of the back of the neck so eye gaze down and lower try and keep that chin tucked under adding in if you choose lifting up the arms bring in that extension reach the arms forwards i'm gonna go four more of these so just pick your layer See if you can breathe out into the extension part. Oh, 
find a little bit of pelvic floor. Hopefully you're on your last one. Release. Now, T-shape with the arms. Put the arms to the side. And you're just going to push down in one hand. Now you can choose your direction you want to go in and just take a shoulder stretch here. So you're just going to lie on your side and you'll find your arm is tucked underneath your body. And this is quite a juicy <laughs> shoulder stretch. You, you do need to support yourself with this other hand. I've bent my knee. So as you, you lift your bend your knee and you place it behind the leg. <laughs> quite good if you feel like your shoulders are ever kind of dropping forwards, you're losing that posture, or like kind of what I was saying, I felt like I'd done lots of driving and I feel like my shoulders are getting a bit rounded. And then we literally just switch sides, so T-shape with your arms, pressing in, do the roll. You can either lift the head slightly or let it relax. Then come to centre, press back all the way to child's pose or a puppy dog. And just take a take the, uh, the elbows off the mat, press the hands down into the mat if you're on your child's pose. Bring, see if you can bring your forehead down. Take four deep belly breaths here. Pick a side then. Uh, I've got my little band. We'll start with some clams, so you can put your band in if you want to. Actually, I won't need band today. I've had a bit of a dodgy, a dodgy hit, <laughs> so I'm just gonna. I won't do the fast one. So, but your choice. So you can do your fast thirty, like we've been doing all month, or you can do kind of just slower. Like, I mean, I've. Mm, my hips kind of come from a little bit of an issue in my in my back <laughs> and from driving loads. <laughs> but um, if you if you want to do your fast thirty like we've been doing, if you've got any niggles, maybe work on a slow ten. And when I say slow ten, maybe without the bands and just like a gentle you push into your stretch. You might hold and then release. So it's, it depends on what you what you need. If you're building up strength, you might work with your fast thirty check now you've got your feet you know a little bit of tension there in your ankles you're not totally loose on your ankles you're pulling in the core with this you are looking forwards you're not looking down to the knees and maybe you're getting this nice neck stretch as well and you're feeling the glute knees just getting this gentle stretch in there You, have to, you might have to say thumbs up when you've done your 30, guys, because you're done. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, same uh, same side, but actually, when I, yeah, you can leave the bands in, but it's quite hard with bands, but I'll, let you, I'll, I'll show you what we're doing. Side plank, so lifting up hips. We're going to go knee to elbow, leg lift, and then putting in your twist. So that's totally possible with the bands. It will be more strength. Based, but you can do it without. So other option, you could do that with legs totally straight. Knee to elbow, leg lift, and then in your twist. Again, you just pick your layer. I said you can do a uh, full five. So once you get set up, you've got the port, the core pulled in, chest lifted. We're not collapsing in the chest, so that this uh, the body's facing towards which you know your side of your mat. I need elbow, <laughs> leg lift, <laughs> gentle twist, <laughs> and 
and you might not get Nita L without totally fine his effort towards. As you come out of your twist, try not to be in this position going into your knee to elbow. So try and get back to centre into a nice open position and then put it in. Last one. And then release. Okay, same side. Just going to do, uh, we'll go for two squeeze and lift. So double leg lift. Get yourself nice and straight with the, with the third side of the mat. Lift one leg, now really point the toes. Like, you know, you're really stretching that leg. You're getting a really good squeeze on the calf muscles. Then just lift up the other leg and go again. Like when we're after the 100 and I get you to squeeze everything, okay? So point the toes, squeeze, squeeze the calf muscles. Then lift up the rib cage. Everything's getting some length here and some squeezing. Then take the arm over. Hold and squeeze, maybe for, let's go for eight seconds. We can just do one of these actually, not two. <laughs> it's quite intense. Big squeeze. And then give everything a release. And then we'll do those other three on the other side. Clams. Again, your choice, whether you're doing your fast 30 or your slow 10. Have it so you're almost kind of falling forwards with your hips maybe even hands there just pressing down the hip if you feel like you're not quite getting to the glute med pulling in the core the other little thing i've noticed as well on this is if you feel like you're wobbling so like you're lifting but you're doing these extra sort of movements to get the knee up think about just taking that nice straight line again so you're just going straight into the knee lift and lower Again, you might have to give me thumbs up if you're on a fast day. <gasps> All the birds are going to bed here, I can tell. <laughs> thumbs up. Okay, then it's your side plank elbow underneath your shoulders lifting up hips you've got the choice here to do it with straight legs get this nice length around the chest shoulders down and back you've got your knee to elbow your leg lift and then threading through a little bit of a twist knee to elbow leg lift threading through on a twist remember to recenter get that nice space on the chest as you recenter Okay, one more. Then bring it all the way down, double leg lift with the stretch, lift top leg, and then just really think about pointing that toe, getting a really good squeeze on that calf muscle. Lift the bottom leg, lift up this rib cage, arm over, really big squeeze, stretch, pull the core in. Count to, let's go eight, not eight, nine. Seven, six, five, four, keep squeezing, three, two, and one, and then just release. Okay, onto our backs then. I'll just take a little bit of a check on the time, how we're getting on. Okay, great. Spine neutral spine, so if you need to pelvic tilt, get some length at the back of the neck. You can always grab a cushion, put it under your head. So arms up towards your sky, and we're just going to take one knee to the side, opposite arm to the side. So it's just a really simple pelvic stability exercise. But if you had headlights on your hips, they are facing up towards the ceiling. The head, you know, the lights aren't going to go to the sides. So do you think about kind of what's happening here in your hips and pelvis. You're not allowing, that would be letting them move, okay? is a very different exercise just to allowing the knee to tilt and not the pelvis. 
But do you keep kind of keep some control in here? So when you've got an idea for that imprint in the lower back, then try, this is quite hard, try the same side. Same arm, same knee. Dropping to one side and then centering. <laughs> it's quite weird. Thinking about keeping the same amount of imprint. <laughs> Last one. Okay, five sets, the 100 then. So four toe taps, eight pulses, and then an eight second hold. Your, your choice of which layer you go on. Okay, here we go. Imprinting, pulling in pelvic floor. Four. And three. Two. And one. Lift head and shoulders, pulse the arms. Looking to knees. Tummies are still. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slide hands to knees, ribs to hips, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll release. If you want more, we're on tabletops. And four, and three, two, and one. Ready to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten leg, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Here we go. Four, three, two, and then one. Ready to pulse. You could take a hover here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Teasers if you've got them. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Two more sets. Try and keep those right angles behind the knees. And three, and two, and one. We're still imprinting and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release last time. Four, three, two, and one. Imprinting that lower back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take a full body stretch, exactly the same thing. Give everything a squeeze like we did on the double leg lift. Count to eight, you know, and you can scrunch up the face as well. Scrunch up the fist. Big deep breath in. And just release. Bending the knees then. Place your hand just kind of on your tummy area and or, or just above your hip bones. Imprint the lower back down, find your pelvic floor. So if you can just take a heel slide, but have a real concentration on what's happening with the pelvis and the hips. So the hip, they're not kind of tilting. And you know the imprint on the lower back, see if you can keep that really equal so that as you extend one leg, and you might have to go nice and slow, that it's not changing on that imprint there. So it's staying the same. Think about some nice length at the back of the neck. So you can add into this, you could go opposite arm as the leg lengthens and then recentering. Same thing, try not to let the imprint change or the hips tilt. Breathing out as you lengthen. Breathing in as you come back to the center. Now your choice, you can take that onto tabletop. Exactly the same. So if you can work with the opposite arm, nice bit of cross body work, imprint that lower back down, or you might just be on the heel lift version. Last one. Hug knees into chest, a bit of a rock or a circle. And then we're going to a double leg stretch. 
So just you, we're gonna go straight in on this. Arms over the head, straight on the leg, and then come back into your your hugging. Now, if you want to make that a little bit harder, you just go lower, lower down to the floor. Try and keep the length at the back of the neck. Thinking about the imprint. Form off your version. Breathing out. Feet on the mat then, arms out to the sides. Breathing out, let both knees drop across to one side. Lower back release, spine stretch. You can look in the other direction. Centering, then go over to the other side. So I'll do a little choice here because you could go for your tabletop version and then extend out into the corners for a little bit more of an IT band stretch and a hamstring exercise and core or take it over into your stretch and then just straighten the legs and just hold in your stretch. There's a little bit of a different version on a stretch there and you can just take about four breaths on each side in that stretch with your legs straight and just extending your arms to the side and try and stay super heavy with the shoulders the back of the head you should get that really nice chest stretch and then you just go over to the other side start with the knees bent and then when you're over there just lengthen out the legs <laughs> quite nice for me today because I've got lots of space. Normally I've got the wall when I'm at home. So bend the knees, come back to centre. Now if you've got your long band, we're going to hamstring stretch so you might want to grab your long band. Uh, maybe double it over so you've got um, quite a bit of torque in the band. Place it through the centre of the foot. Find your hamstring stretch. You can use a door frame if you prefer, if you want to do a bit more work into it. We're going to do about 30 seconds, so you could push away at the back of the knee for 5 seconds and then release for 5 if you want, or just hold a standard, same, same kind of steady stretch. Depends how tight you feel there in your hamstrings. Just check your hips are square, you know, you're not tilting in the hips to get into this stretch, your shoulders are relaxed, the back of your head is on the, on the mat, your chin's not lifting. Just iron out the breath. I'm lucky it didn't rain today. <laughs> I was checking the weather forecast quite a bit. <laughs> Don't know what I would have done to be honest. <laughs> there was a bike. There was a bike shed, like a bit of a bubble. I would have got in there probably, but then you would have heard the rain. It would have been quite tricky. <laughs> then if you've got the band, you could take that stretch to the side for a bit of an inner thigh stretch. Just a ten second hold there. Come to centre, we're going over to the other side, so 30 seconds in that central hamstring, middle of the foot. Push your weight at the back of the knee, then just kind of think about squaring those hips together, the hips down into the mat, lower back imprints down, shoulders relaxed. Back of the head on the mat. Iron out the grass.
then if you've got the band, you can just go over to the side, that's 10 seconds. Find that inner hamstring. Do engage a little bit with the pelvic floor with that one as well. Okay, bend the knee. We'll put the bands down for a sec. We'll go to shoulder bridge. So, just bring the heels in. You can touch the heels, knees, feet, hip width apart. Take a pelvic tilt to start with. Treat it like a massage for the lower back. So go nice and slow, work through each vertebrae. You could stick with that, otherwise you could bring it into your shoulder bridge. Try and get as much lift as you can, really squeezing the glutes. Try to keep the feet parallel, they're not turning in or turning out. Length at the back of the neck is a nice kind of throat chakra release. So options here, you could go up with your arms up and then over and then take your shoulder bridge up and down. Or option, we could take one leg and lift and then we can move with the arms. I mean, I've just kept my knee bent on that one, just so I can really focus here on the glutes and the hips. Because often when you straighten that leg, you can lose a little bit of that lift. So if you keep the knee bent, just go for a really big glute squeeze. As the arms move, you can see, oh, my hips are falling. Four, and then you can literally switch legs. If you're just going up and down, Think about the breath, so really articulate as you're going up into your left, you're breathing out. Keep squeezing glutes if you're on your leg lift. Half time if you're doing the arm. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> Doing four of them is quite hard as well. It's pushing you then. <laughs> Slowly lower it down. Hug knees into chest. A little rock or a circle. See if you can rock yourself up to seated position. I'll just do, check on the time. I'm doing really well. It's only 10 T. I I must be better at teaching outside for some reason. <laughs> okay, rocking. <laughs> so, come to the front of your mat. Option, you can C-shape the lower back to upright. Eye gaze looks forward. Try not to lift the head on the back of that. Otherwise, hold on to the shins. Rock it back. Option to open out at the top if you want a hamstring stretch. Bend the knees. Come back to your balance point. You could just stay uh, curled up. You could also play at the top. You could maybe take a one leg lift and then you can play play with like a one leg teaser, which is quite a little bit different. And you also kind of get like a, a is it kind of a little bit of a hamstring stretch if you're doing the one leg teaser in there? Last one. Okay, place the feet down then. So recently we've been doing side double leg lift on the side and then rolling onto our back and then rolling up into the roll down. So let's do it this way. We'll go from being upright to going down. So you might want to just take it halfway or you might want to go all the way down to start upright, so hold on to the shins and find upright, but try not to lift the head at the end. So you've got this nice kind of straight back. Then start articulating down through the spine. C-shape come down. You might want to go all the way down, arms over. Circle that around and then see if you can come back up. I'd like to know if it feels, um, find some upright position, if it feels easier going from up to down <laughs> compared to what we've been doing, which is from down to up. <laughs> so you can maybe tell me afterwards. <laughs> Think about the chin kind of leading yourself to come up. Now, your choice, you could straighten legs. Find, make sure you find some upright in the center. You can scoot, touch the toes, get a lift in the middle. 
Then come down, full body stretch it. Circle around, chin to chest, into that lift. But I mean, that's why I tried to get you to hold the shins to get an upright lift in the center. So if you did put in the straight leg version, you can find that nice upright in the middle. It's been a while actually since we've done this um, full move, isn't it? You're breathing out as you move and then you're breathing in on the kind of the, ex the little bit of extensions, the squeezing, the stretching, the lifting. Okay, facing this way then, crossing the legs. We go for a spine twist, and I think we've got time after that for a little sore, so it's the sore, so it's lots of hamstring stretching. There was a worm there. <laughs> okay, get yourself nice and tall, right up on the sit bones, shoulders down and back, lift up the chest, palms together, breathing in, get tall, breathing out for a twist. Try and let these shoulders come down, sink them down. Breathing in, get tall. Breathing out, twist. If you're feeling a little bit tight, you want a little bit longer, just take an extra breath in the twist. So the sort of legs straight, really think about the feet here, so toes going up to the ceiling, arms out to the sides, breathing in, get tall, breathing out, twist. Now I'm a little bit tight so I'm going to push my back hand down and I'm going to push in. So you, know, you can do that if it helps you feel like you can get into your stretch, three times pulse and then take it around, otherwise you would just have the other hand up. Sometimes it can be nice to have a little bit of um, assistance into the stretch. Keep these feet pointing up to the sky. <laughs> Breathing out. Try and keep the um, this chest, you're into your twist and then breathe in left and then breathing out, to almost try and keep as much lift in that chest as you can into the, into the reaching, which I know is hard. <laughs> okay, finishing just with the stretch and soles of the feet together. And you might wanna do a massage on the feet, up to you how you feel. You can do some little thumb circles into the feet. So just allow the knees to relax. I mean, just let the shoulders relax. Just kind of let the lower back kind of sink a little bit. So this is more kind of inner, inner hamstring, inner, inner thigh and groin stretching. I mean, if you really want to, you can totally let go. Bring the chin down. <laughs> or you might be doing a little, a little massage on the feet. Palms together. Namaste.